Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends. I missed, I didn't put the gang friends thing in the last video, did I? How silly of me. Do you know what else is silly? I didn't realise the date and I'm doing a St. Patrick's video and it's St. Patrick's Day, well it's Friday at like 2am right now. But it's on Sunday. Maybe I should just post this as soon as it's ready. Might be four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> That's fine. Um, I'm just running a bit behind, I guess. Didn't realise what date it was. Um, right. Nail stuffs. We have done two coats of something. Spring in Paris, I think, from Madame Glam. And we've wiped and we've buffed it. Just with one of those sort of really squishy buffers, you know. Um, Dex! Dexter, stop it! I'm scratching up the rug downstairs. We're taking Votino's white pigment base. I'm just going to do a strip down half of the nail at the bottom, but then we're going to curve it up. If you're doing this on a person, you know, if there's bloody fingers in the way, you're going to want to use a brush to do this bit here. Um, a, a detail blah, 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 line of brush, not the bottle brush. And then just trying to make it sort of smooth. We're going to do some pigments. Um, so we will cure this for however long it says to cure. I mean, I think I'm taking this elf eyebrow, C eyebrow, eyeshadow, whatever it just said, C brush, um, and some pigments, which I'm pretty sure are the same as the Votino ones, but I got them from Timu. Um, and we're going to just blend two of them together, the green and the blue to get a darker green. I am taking heavy inspo from some Votino nails, um, and we're going to dust that over the cured pigment base um i was talking to one of you about this brush one of you told me about this brush and i remembered your name until i forgot um i know it i'll know it if i see it but the girl the gang friend i was talking to this brush brilliant for it thank you for that um tip and it was cheap this brush is super cheap okay so now we're taking just the light green and we're going at the bottom and then just working it up and then boom, you've got an ombre. You want to brush, we're going to outline this in white. You want to, with white gel paint, <laughs> finish a sentence, woman. Um, we're going to, no. Oh yeah, when you're doing the pigments, you want the brush, imagine a C, um, but the back of the C is resting on the nail and it's poking up. So you want to kind of come down and then lift up as you brush the pigments on. I hope that makes sense. Uh, and I did the lighter second, because if I did the dark one second, then it might kind of overpower the lighter one as it comes down. But the lighter one will sort of blend up into the darker one better. Um, right. Now, we are taking this brush. <laughs> brush is the Double Trouble brush from Bull Pit Nails. I've got all her brushes. They're f***ing amazing. Um, I highly recommend them. And I'm using Madame Glam's white gel paint. You know, in the last video, I sat, I sat down to do this voiceover and was like, I'm not in the mood to talk. And now I won't, I can't stop. Um, in the la We're going to mix these two together. Um, in the last video, I said that they don't do their black gel paint anymore. And then one of you told me it's back. So I looked and it's back. So I've asked my Madame Glam lady, my contact, um, if I can, if that she can send me some. <laughs> she always says to ask if there's anything I need. Um... And, I, and so I asked. So I've mixed Born Pretty's Semi Jelly 01, which is white uh, jelly, and a tiny bit of the white gel paint, just because the without the white gel paint, it really didn't show up very well um, on this green. And I'm going to, so I've done some lines, you see that. I'm going to do some across here. You would think I'm going for tartan, and then I'm going to do a milky one down vertically. But it kind of, I tried it, I didn't like it. I, what did I try it on? I, oh, I tried it on a different nail, because this is the second one I did, because we're doing two of these, um, where I'd matte topped over the pigment before doing any of the white detail, which if you're scared about messing up the anything you put on top of pigments, just top the pigments first, then you can wipe it off. So I did that on the first one, but I was feeling brave on this one um, and didn't top the pigments before doing these the stripes uh, but yeah I did one vertically on the other one it just looked too messy so I'm kind of hoping this looks okay without a milky vertical 
Um, I'll let you be the judge of that. So we and then we cured the lines going across and then I went in with the same product and just went over the middle of some of them to make it look like it would look if we did have one going vertically. Holy Lord above. I'm sorry. That was a lot of fucking verbal diarrhea, wasn't it? Okay. Breathe. We're taking... Oh, this colour, 24K from Madame Glam. This is so good. And we're just going to do a straight line. We're going to try and do a straight line all the way up the centre. Um, this is such a nice polish. Oh, it's so good. It's so pigmented. I love it. Um, don't forget there's codes for... Oh, and this one. Oh, so good. There's codes for Madame Glam, 30% off. A whopping 30% off. Madame Glam in the description. There's codes for Born Pretty, uh, Born Pretty store. There's codes for McCart. There's cl clothes, clothes, no clothes. I'm afraid. Um, just codes for a bunch of nail stuff places. We'll always check out the description um, to save money. We are taking Shamrock something glow. Was it Shamrock glow? And we're going to do two little hearts coming out of the straight line. And it, we're going to make a shamrock. Uh, oh, well, a four-leaf clover. Do shamrocks have four leaves? Are they the same as clovers? I don't know. Um, and then we're going to just make all of them hearts. Um, and that will be our little clover. Easy. Hearts are easy. Trying to get them this close together without messing it up. You can cure each one as you go. Because um, you do want them to be quite close together. And then we cured them and we're going to top coat them. And now we're up to date. How is everyone? I've had a really shit day, to be honest. Had a panic attack earlier and uh, sat it out. Um, said all the things that I should need to say to myself to, you know, try and get rid of it. Um, but it was still horrible. So I'm, I've got a bit of a hangover from it, you know, where you're just a bit exhausted. Feel like I've climbed Mount Everest which I was Googling at like 5.30 in the morning the other day, couldn't sleep. Um, like, why is it so difficult to climb Mount Everest? It's just, just, just steep. <laughs> um, turns out lots of reasons why and uh, not something I plan on doing anytime soon. Right, we've taken the McCart Gem Gel or Gem Glue. This is the best crystal adhesive I've used. I know there's loads out there, but it's cheap and it works, and it's good, and it stays, um, so you can get money off that as well, and then we've added some crystals from, um, the gold ones I think were from Shein, and the green ones are from Timu, I think, I'm pretty sure, um, and they're really nice, you get massive trays of them, I showed you, didn't I, um, and they're awesome, so we've added some of those at the top, and then we've topped over the 24k as well because that was obviously still tacky if you wanted to use their sparkly gold gel paint that wouldn't have been tacky so you wouldn't have needed to top it um but we didn't so we did <laughs> right we're using these colors to create a rainbow i'm going to start with the middle color of my rainbow so that i can get the placement where i want on the nail um sometimes it's easier to do that to sort of map it out so otherwise if you start with the red you think you might get to the end higher up than you wanted to or you might get to the bottom lower down <laughs> than you wanted to so I'm starting in the middle and I will say as you might have noticed that this video is all real time I haven't sped anything up there might be bits where I've cut drawing the clovers because they're all the same um, but this is the actual speed of my painting it's very slow but that's okay it's okay to be slow. You want to do something properly. I don't want to rush it. Um, but I am cutting, obviously, where my hand goes off screen to dip into the polish and do all the little bits like that. Um, but everything is real speed. And I like to show you that sometimes because, you know, videos online make things look like people do it so quickly. And in reality, they're. I promise you, they're not. <laughs> they might be quicker than some other people but it's still taking time to do no one is doing things in like 
No one's cracking out a full set of nail art in 20 minutes. It's just not happening. Um, so don't ever worry about your speed. Go your speed. There's some things that you will get quicker at doing the more you do them. Um, but I, I don't feel like I've um, progressed speed-wise at all in any nail stuff I do, apart from like removal and plain colour gel polish. Um, <laughs> but everything else, I'm still pretty slow, but it's okay. Um, oh, fuck that line up. So get the other end of the brush, dipped it, uh, like got got it, blew, like, got a lint wipe with some isopropyl alcohol on and just wiped the clean up end of that brush in that. Um, so you don't want it like dripping wet because it will disperse the gel polish, but just enough to wipe away a bit. And then we're just doing, so because I did the middle stripe first, the yellow one then cured it, I could do the orange one and then the green one and then cure and now the red one and the blue one and then cure. So you kind of cut down on curing time and speed as well a bit um, because you don't have to cure each color as you go. You can do one cure, two cure, two cure, you know? Oh, I feel like I'm losing my voice. I never talk for as long as I talk in one single go than when I do voiceovers and it's weird. Mind you, I'm all croaky after. Um, you'd, you'd, you'd think that the voice box would be able to handle it, but apparently not. Um, mine doesn't, anyway. Um, try talking for like 20 minutes straight, non-stop. And you might sound a bit like this at the end. So, stripes. We're getting our stripes on. Uh, how nice is that blue? Oh, it's lovely. I love blue. Blue's the best. Um, it's night time now, so I feel like I should be telling you a bedtime story or something. Um, once upon a time, there was a girl called Joseph. <laughs> she put a matte top coat over this rainbow. The Madame Glam matte. No, make it, no, what's it called? Velvet matte. There we go. So we'll cure that. And then we're going, I didn't know what to do with this. Had no idea. I was like, I like it just like that, but I need to do something. So we're going to slap on literally just slap it on the nail a bunch of the McCart gem gel and then we're taking some of the gold um crystally thingies well they're not they're not crystally these ones they're more kind of coated um you know like a mirror as opposed to a kind of glassy looking thing and we picked up i picked up some random shape ones and we're going to put them at the bottom of the rainbow like the gold at the end of the rainbow and then i thought let's put some green in there as well just to tie in with the green on the other nail but it's like the treasure at the end of the rainbow and it kind of looks like it's you know like raw minerals and they're chipped away from whatever the earth and you get these you know when you buy those big crystals well, you might not buy them i don't but um, and they come in those sorts of shapes. So I'm thinking it's like that at the end of the rainbow. It's like a mine. You know, they've been dug out and they've been mined out and plonked at the end of the rainbow. And then cured that. And then I, I wanted to leave it like that as well, but thought, no, we should do something here as well. So we're going to add in some more um, shamrocks. I had some small Pop-Tarts the other day. Oh, I love pop tarts, they're so good. And the girl named Joseph lived in a house by the sea. And one day, whilst walking to the shore, the sea started to retract, recede into itself. And as it did so, this thing, Joseph didn't know what it was, started to rise out the water. It was white. And it was huge. She topped the um, clovers with top coat and saw that this huge white thing had companions. Several huge white obelisks coming out of the water. Joseph realised in utter terror that they were teeth. The animal of which these teeth belong to was going to be mammoth. So Joseph decided to finish the story in another video. This is what we have. 
I know what you're thinking. There's only four of them. I was going to go up and film the next one, then realised what the date was and thought we just don't have the time. So let's pretend that the leprechaun from the last video is the middle of this set and he has kind of rainbows coming out of his brain. Um, colourful thoughts. And let's pretend he's the same length as the others. I would do just a plain nail with well an ombre of the two greens and then just chuck a bunch of gold bling in it that's what i would do i hope you like it i haven't got a goodbye clip so i'm going to put a clip of dexter here i appreciate you being here so so much like comment and subscribe i'll see you in the next one bye -zy bye <laughs> stop sneezing at the sink what is it what is it Tell it. You okay? What's it gone? <laughs>